Hey guys, so um, I just got cut off again by Facebook or by whatever's hacking me. So those that are joining just now, what you're about to be watching is the bridge on 1806, just outside a camp here. Earlier today, some people were removing a couple of the burnt out vehicles to open up this road, which is a public road. And what's happened is the militarized police have responded with water cannons, with mace, tear gas, concussion grenades, and rubber bullets. So thank you for coming back. Sorry I lost you guys, I don't know what happened. Just putting my glove on so my hand doesn't go too crazy. Yeah, I'm back. Just uh, every time I go, I will come back until I can come back no more. So keep sharing this one. Thank you, Iowa, for watching. So what you're watching right now, for those that are joining, you're watching peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired upon with tear gas and rubber bullets, water can, the temperature out here. It, what would you say the temperature is out here, my friend? It's about zero, isn't it? Yes. It's at least zero here right now. So they're firing a water cannon at peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Right now, my feet just standing on this hill are freezing. Please, thank you for joining, Elizabeth. I don't know who RT is, but I'm glad they shared my live feed in Twitter. That's great. I wonder if our... <laughs> anyone that wants to share this, please share it. Any news that's coming on here and wants to use this, please use it. You all have my permission. I will put that on this description. Yeah, if you're watching now, you can call the Army Corps. You can call Amnesty. Need Amnesty here to report on this. There are no fires down there, contrary to what anyone may be may have reported down there. There's also, when I saw a fire started earlier by something that was fired from the opposite side, the first thing that happened was all the water protectors went around and put out that fire. Yeah, this is the only way to get the truth out. You're watching it live. Your eyes don't deceive you. You can see who's firing. They fire that cannon right now. That's not water, is it? Water. No, it's not. Is it? Okay, that see. looked very really different because it wasn't falling like water. That was falling like gas. No, it's water. That's water now. What you're watching there is a water cannon being fired on a crowd at sub-zero temperatures. A peaceful crowd. Unarmed crowd. And this is on... Well, it's on American soil. We can dispute whose soil this actually is another time. Um, but what you're going to see is... This is what your tax dollars is going towards. You see in the distance, more and more cars are joining on the other side, on the militarized police. If you look around here, you'll see we're gradually being surrounded on all sides here. Sorry the focus is bad on here. If you're just joining, what you're watching is the blockade on 1806, Highway 1806, just north of Cannonball in North Dakota. And you're watching the police firing water cannons on unarmed, peaceful. Praise creepy. <laughs> Sherry, thanks for joining. Joanna, thanks for joining. Please share this with the tribe. Messing tribe, get the sharing it, get all of them sharing it. Yeah, please do pray, please send protection because people are going to die of hypothermia with this water cannon. This is no joke, it's freezing out here right now. You're watching that water cannon being used on unarmed crowd. Sorry, it's a bit wobbly, my leg's going to sleep because I'm stood on a hill. <laughs> my feet are cold. But that's the least of my worries. I'm I'm only up here because I can't be down there to stream. So those suggesting I get closer, I'd love to. But I can't get closer right now. But you guys can share this out. I'll try and zoom in again for you. But it's really hard when I zoom in. The lights down there affect the focus and you can't see what's happening. 
part what you're seeing that's a bridge enclosed on the left enclosed on the right enclosed in front so when they fire tear gas into a crowd on a bridge they cannot disperse they have nowhere to go apparently it's 26 degrees here right now with a water cannon no for the people that said they thought the pipeline was stopped the army corps of engineers said that they needed to be stopped so they could do more investigation however dakota access pipeline basically from what i saw said they were going to continue working anyway and pay the fine later so yeah please share this joining say where you're joining from the hell's that maybe a sunny grenade that sounds like a concussion grenade was just launched again But again, I'm going to stress, you're watching unarmed, peaceful people being brutalized by a militarized police force right now. That's a water cannon at below zero temperatures. As you'll see, there's, this is the 1806 road. There's a drone in the sky right now that's coming down rather close. Don't know if you can even see that, I can't find it. I can't find it, but over me there's a drone, so they're filming. Oh, the media's filming. I don't trust that drone one little bit. Thank you for rejoining Natty Nation. Please share this out with all your fans. Please share this out on your page. I'm live streaming right now. Whoever's messaging me, just go to my page. Every time will come back into my battery. Seven oh one six six seven five three zero seven. 701-667-3307 Morton County Emergency Management and Communication If anyone wants to call that number that is the number 701-667-3307 Anyone just joining my friend earlier was down there to take links to the people being Brutalized with the water cannon. There was so much tear gas down there that it made her vomit and wet her pants. There's nowhere to go, she told me. When you're down there, you don't can't go left or right because you're on an enclosed space on a bridge. And they were just testing what they call the LRAD. The LRAD is a noise a, a noise cannon, if you like, which is designed to completely disorientate and, and stun you effectively. So if they start using that, they have tear gas in enclosed space with disorientated, stunned people. I don't know what they're firing down there right now, but something's being fired. You can hear them firing. I can't tell you what that is. But you can see the battalion of riot police down there. You can tell it's riot police because the shields are glinting. You'll see the shields all along there to the left of the light as you're looking right now. What you hear now is vehicles coming from the from camp. Medic vehicles coming through on the road to go up to the front and make sure that people are safe and able to get back to camp and they're protected. These people that are being tear gassed, these people that are being soaked. Thank you for sharing on Twitter. Thank you for sharing. Keep sharing this out there. Yeah, contact Amnesty International. When Amnesty International were here, none of this was happening. They never see this. This is the story that the news do not want you to see. <laughs> Derek Ramnerace, thanks for joining. Yeah, anyone who's joining from media, you can piggyback this. You can share this out. That's more than more than happy for you to.
if there's any media out there. If you want to, I know they're hacking me. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, Melissa. <laughs> That's why I keep repeating what I'm saying, because as people are joining, I know they can hear me even if they can't see the feed. Yeah, this is in North Dakota. This is peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Could be your mother, your father, your son or your daughter being attacked with a water cannon at below zero temperature. What you're seeing right now, I'm just seeing it. I don't know if you can see this on the live stream. These two vehicles coming in right now look like they've got SWAT vehicles. The hell are they? They're like all stream vehicles that are just coming in, lining up. I don't know what's about to happen, but something's about to happen. Can you see them coming in behind the battalions of police? They've got another cannon on top of that. Well, they've got something on. A, there's a turret on the top of that. I don't know if you can see these. I'm going to try and show you, but. I think they're the armored hum. I think they look like armored Humvees, and I'm going to have a hazard a guess that's about to be the Elrad let loose. Thank you. Well, if you want to find your live team later, what's your name? Um, Kevin Gilbert with two T's. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll probably need another battery pack if this keeps going though, if anyone wants to figure that out. No, oh, this has got three, it's good for now. Do you want me to take something and charge? Um, yeah, actually, I've got... I don't even know. Yeah, somewhere I've got another battery pack. I can't feel So if you're just joining right now, what you're watching... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you go? Yeah, if you can get that charged anywhere, that would be great. How could I find you? I'll be here. <laughs> okay, so wait here. I will come back. I'll be here. If not, uh, leave it with uh, Cooney, Cooney Dog Security. Cooney? Cooney Dog, Head of Security. Okay, over here. In this in, in, yeah, in Ocheti. Thank you. So I was just passing off a battery pack so that it can be charged. I'm safe. I'm safe, don't worry about me, I'm, I'm way up on the hill. I can't go any closer. Or I'm at least safe for now, tear gas landed pretty close earlier. So if you're just joining, this is the bridge on 1806. And earlier on, earlier on, the water protectors removed one of the burnt out trucks. And this has then escalated to a lot of people here. Well, what's happening is this is an enclosed space. Left and right on the bridge, you cannot go. You, you can't, you jump in the river. Forwards, you can't go because there's a barricade. What the police are doing is they're firing a water cannon into the crowd. They're also firing tear gas into that space. So the only thing people can do is move, trample each other to escape from there or inhale tear gas. My friend came back and inhaled so much tear gas that she puked and wet herself. She was just taking blankets to people that are there. So keep sharing this, people. I know it's being hacked. Thank you for letting me know. I have a question. How long do you want me to keep it like it before you bring, bring it back? Just, just charge it. Um, just find a spot to charge it. Um, well, I don't know, you're probably not going to, are you? But I appreciate the offer. Yeah, because I don't know how. It'll take a while. Because I can just come back in 30 minutes after charging this for 30 minutes. Nah, it wouldn't. Yeah, okay. it's okay. And right now, um, the gentleman who was just going to try and help me with the charger is actually from... You said you're from Poland? Yes, I am. You live in Poland? No, Colorado. You live in Colorado. Do they know about what's going on in Poland here? No. But I told them. Brilliant. So as you're joining, please tell me where you're joining from so I can see that this is still live and people are joining. What you're watching, the cannon spray is water. It's a water cannon. The noise that you hear is tear gas when it's fired. I'll try and show you it when it's actually fired. Right now they look like they've stopped firing the tear gas briefly. 20 degrees is plenty cold enough. My feet right now are in, I'm in winter boots and 
and my, I can, can't feel feet very well stood here on the hill. So, and that's out water. So anyone debating the temperature here, man, <laughs> it's cold. I want to again stress that this is unarmed people. This, this is not militia. These aren't people with guns. These are unarmed water protectors. Could be your son or your daughter, your mother, your father, your grandfather or your grandmother. Earlier today, these people were in camp winterizing structures, building teepees, cooking food together. That's a water cannon you're watching being fired down there right now. Good question. Why aren't the mainstream media here? The reason the mainstream media aren't here is because if this went out on national news, you would have half of America fucking here. They don't want this out. Well, thank you, Jill Stein, for sharing this. Please share the story that the peaceful, unarmed water protectors and they're being attacked with a water cannon at below zero temperature. Tear gas and mace. Concussion grenades. And this is protect this is right, this is protecting a pipeline that's going to pollute our water and destroy our sacred waters. This will burst this pipeline. It's not if, it's when. They burst in the path, they're gonna burst again. And you're watching peaceful, unarmed water protectors being attacked with a water cannon below zero temperatures. Yeah, the irony isn't lost on us. Water protectors being fought off with water. Yeah. What would they do when the war's destroyed? But yeah, this is on your tax dollars, people. Thank you for coming back, Johnny. Johnny Little will please share this. This is about greed. This is about profits and big oil over people. You're watching peaceful water protectors being fired upon tear gas, rubber bullets, concussion grenades. You can see those lines and lines of cars on the other side. That is all law enforcement against peaceful water protectors. If you're wondering why it's jumping, I'm down. I'm just moving my feet a little bit. <laughs> Stood on a downhill. It's kind of difficult to stand on a downhill for so long and hold this steady. <laughs> but what you're watching is this is a bridge enclosed on both sides so people cannot escape. When you're watching the tear gas fired onto this bridge, this is people that are unable to escape from that. So they either inhale it or trample each other. Right now they're just inhaling it. Thank you for everyone that's joining. Once again, I'm not seeing where you're from, so I'm suspecting the comments are jammed right now. I have the comments set so they're okay to go. So just keep commenting and in a minute it'll probably all come through. Thank you for calling Amnesty. Every day you can call. I just had confirmation on the live feed in the comments at least four rubber bullets one person hit in the head right now if you're just joining this is live from the hill above the bridge on 1806 this is the blockade that's blockading the um blockading the 1806 highway what you're watching is the peaceful water protectors and they've been fired upon with rubber bullets with concussion grenades with tear gas and there's a water cannon you can see the lines and lines of cars that's the militarized police force 
Thank you for joining again, Earth Guardians. Please share this if you're joining. Please share this and let us know where you come from. Please call your governor. Please call the Army Corps in your area. Please call the banks that are supporting the Dakota Access Pipeline through energy transfer partners. Please report the planes without lights that are here. Please get the Environmental Protection Agency to come down and to do a survey to see what are the chemical trails coming from these planes. These are all things you can do when you're not here. These are all things you can do to help support from a distance. Yes, this is violence against unarmed people. This is your tax dollars that is supporting this. Ingrid Sanders, thank you for watching. Please share this and make sure this story goes out as unarmed protectors, unarmed civilians being fired at with tear gas on a bridge that they cannot escape from left or right. They cannot go forwards because of the blockade. So their only option is to inhale tear gas or to trample each other. I'm not misinforming you. I'm stood on the hill right now. You won't hear this live stream either. You won't see this live stream media and someone shares it. They're not here. This is the only way to share feeds. Copy for this share on, the, on all those on the government's Facebook page. Share it on the news channel pages. Share this out. Also, anyone out there that wants to pull this down and make this into a video, you have permission to pull this down. The other live feed is finished already. You can save that video. Make sure that's saved because it will be removed. It's the blockade on 1806, that's correct. And there's tear gas and concussion grenades and water can cannons. The reason mainstream media do not show this is because they're supported by the same money that's supporting the pipeline, by the same money that's allowing, saying it's okay to walk roughshod over the people whose lands this is, to disregard what effect this is going to have on the environment. The same people that own the media, the same people that own the oil companies, the same people that have the money are able to use that to make sure this story doesn't get out. So the only way this story gets out is by you guys sharing this, as you're doing right now. Yeah, originally this pipeline was meant to go through Bismarck and Bismarck said hell no. And then what happened was this pipeline then was moved so it now comes right on the edge of the reservation lands here. And this is on undisputed treaty lands. Which is right now is called Amcor lands but originally this was uh, treaty lands. I know a little bit, I don't know very much but this is, this is once again the natives having their land taken from them. It's once again them being met by force. The media is owned by big oil, correct. So we are the media right now. What you see being fired in the background here, you're watching that water cannon being fired again. Again, if you're just joining, it's below zero. Yeah, it's Celsius. It's like 26 degrees. It's freezing. Yeah, I'm British, so I talk Celsius. My apologies, but 32 is freezing. So it's below freezing. It's ice forms. So you feel you're, you're firing a high-powered water cannon on people that are already cold. The reason you hear those shouts in the background is asking people to clear the road so people can go back to camp and be taken care of by medical. These people are the people that are getting tear gas. These are the people that are getting hit by the water cannon. They're trying to avoid people dying here, catching hypothermia. So I'm zooming in now. It's very hard for you to see. But what you're watching is that haze that you see. That's a water cannon being fired right now. Any press has permission to piggyback this. You can contact me afterwards on Facebook. Message me. I will respond to messages later. I do not have the ability to do it while I'm live streaming. While this is happening, that is a water cannon you're watching right now.
Those shouts will clear the road and trauma. These are the unarmed water protectors being brutalized by the militarized police right now, going back to camp to make sure that they don't, we don't have a death out here. This is cold here right now. That water cannon is going to end up taking someone's life. I've had tea or hot coffee. What are you talking Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Someone's just bought me some coffee. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, we can coordinate supplies and stuff. Yeah, there are horses here. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. What you're watching, if you're just joining right now, is unarmed, peaceful water protectors being fired upon with a water cannon. Earlier, you had concussion grenades. You had um, tear gas and mace. What you hear flying is a drone over my head. I don't know whose drone it is. They did test the LRAD, they haven't fired yet, but they did do a test for the sound cannon as well. We have our brother here, he's live streaming now. This is the beginning. Everyone that's here, that's on the show. So right now, as you just joined, yeah. You want something to eat? No, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, there was a feed that had over 60,000. It was shut down. This is just, uh, this is on 1806, Highway 1806, just north of Cannonball. This is the story that the media will not show you. This is why you have to share this. This is why I'm stood here doing this. So I appreciate the thanks and the comments about being a hero. I'm not a hero. I'm not stood down there in the tear gas. I'm stood down up here to, to report on this. Those are the guys down there right now. Those are the heroes right now. The ones stood right on the front lines. I know they keep cutting my live feed. Every time they cut it, I will come back. Don't worry. There's about 20,000 on here. The, uh, the, the live feed earlier is already on Facebook. You can share it. It had 1.8 million people watching it so far. Please share this. Do you know what exit this is on 1806? One mile marker? Uh, not sure. It's just up from Highway 6. It's just after where Highway 6 joins... Uh, no, Highway 24. It's Northgate Bridge of the of the camp of main camp. I'm not sure exactly the location. If you look, it's just north of Cannonball. You'll see where 1806. What you're watching right now is the water cannon being fired into the crowd of peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Yeah, thanks for everyone letting me know I'm being hacked. That's why I keep repeating myself so that it was, as you're joining, you know what's happening. So this is the bridge on Highway 1806. Hemmed in on the left and the right by the bridge and unable to go forward because of the blockade where the tear gas has been being fired is into an enclosed space where people are not able to escape. That's a water cannon you're watching being used right now. Jason, thanks for joining. Please share this. I know my connection is weak and I'm probably going to lose this feed any second is my guess. But just know all my live feeds will be on my wall. You have permission to share them. You have permission to send the link anywhere you choose. Thanks for joining, Brooke. Please keep sharing this. If you're just joining, what you're watching is peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired on by whoa that is that was, a really big bang. that was like a concussion grenade i believe fired right into the crowd i think i can't tell it's either that or it was Multiple bullets being shot now. i don't know what that is right now but they're firing 
the water cannon and there's something else being fired that's tear gas you see the the streams coming in that's uh, tear gas being fired yes this is America and these are unarmed American citizens that are being fired upon by militarized police watch out there's Some more tear gas being used. there's all those clouds that's clouds of tear gas you're watching right now if you don't like what you're seeing go ahead and please share this please contact your uh... right this is unfortunately you're seeing tear gas being fired again these are clouds of tear gas that's going across there. Looks like there's some kind of flame down there right now. I'm trying to see what's happening. I can't tell from up here. If you're just joining, this is the bridge blockade on 1806 just north of Cannonball outside main camp here just off the just off the standing rock reservoir the sound for what medics being called is medics going from the camp to the front line and back on the road that's the noise that you hear when people yelling in the background for medics they're taking people that have been tear gas these are peaceful unarmed water protectors thank you for joining thank you for sharing please continue to for those of you that don't know where this is, this is just outside of Cannonball, North Dakota. The temperature here right now is 26 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing for us English people. They're using a water cannon against peaceful, unarmed water protectors. They're using tear gas. They're using concussion grenades. They're using mace. They've been firing rubber bullets. I have been told that there were at least four people hit with rubber bullets, one in the head. That was a comment on the live stream that is unconfirmed. However, that's what I was told. What you're watching right now, so hard to see, I understand. Please keep sharing. What you're seeing down there is really hard to get a good stream on this. That is the that is the water cannon being fired continually, continually in sub-zero temperatures into the crowd right here. This is just outside of camp. This is just north of camp on 1806. That is a water cannon that is being fired continuously at these peaceful water protectors. Yes, this is America, and this is unarmed citizens right now. A unicorn riot is streaming as well, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm up on top of the hill above this, I can't be down any closer. Are you okay? Yeah. So those joining just now what you're watching is this is a bridge on the left and the right people cannot escape to the front people can't escape they're firing tear gas into a crowd on a bridge that cannot escape without trampling each other the fires that were started were started by um Dapple. By, by Dapple. The fires that start today were started by something fired from the other side. If you watch my live stream, you'll watch it land and you'll see a bunch of water protectors go straight to it and put it out. So the people that are talking about starting fires, the only fire you see here is down on the hill to try and keep people warm and not dying. And the other fire is the same over there on, on, on the Army Corps land there at the side of the road to keep people warm. 
So those that are coming in and talking about starting fires, the story you will hear on the national media will be about a fire being started by water protectors. If you look at my live stream, you'll see how the fire was started by projectiles fired from the other side, and you'll see it's the water protectors putting it out, not the people with the water cannon. They ignored it. Hey, Kevin, I was at the front. Yeah, that's true. Would you like to tell me what yeah. you... This gentleman's just come back. Would you like to tell the people who you are? Yeah, my name is Tracy Peterson, and... Uh, I was at the front line documenting a lot of what was happening. And uh, yeah, the fires were started from the flares that were shot into the crowd by the police. And as you see in Kevin's stream, there's, you know, different places where uh, people had gotten together and we went through three attacks with the, uh, the spray gas. And it's not fun and the little sonic grenades they have there. Yeah. So, I mean, if we, if you're watching this, you're, you're a witness to the atrocities Nodapolis committing here illegally. Um, to me, it's a diversion tactic up on the hill, show them the hill. They're preparing a drill pad at the moment. They are currently placing their pipe, known as a bore, into the ground. So whatever's happening here, this is, you know, in response to that is to make sure that that doesn't get started without or illegal drilling. So, water protectors are standing up, you know, for for everything they believe in, and uh, you know, more power to them. I'm on my way up to get to, get to Myron. I'll ask you a couple of quick yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. So, while you were down there, I'm telling people that from where I'm stood, everyone's unarmed. So, yeah. can you confirm that people yeah, yeah, down there? Every water protector I seen at the front is unarmed. Um, they are standing there in solidarity. Uh, if you call a rain jacket or a plastic cape as a weapon, that's all they have. They got their songs, they got their prayers, they got each other. So. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Appreciate it. So as you heard, that was someone who'd been down at the front lines, confirming what I've been telling you. Those people down there are unarmed, peaceful water protectors, being brutalized with tear gas, with the water cannon, with the concussion grenades with the mace this is right now unarmed people could be your son or daughter could be your mom or your dad and as was pointed out while this is all happening up on the hill over here they're getting ready to drill they have the drill pad in place and they're ready to drill underneath the Missouri River to put this pipeline in so what you guys can do if you're not here you can call the White House you can call the Army Corps of Engineers you can call the governor you can pull your money out of all the places that are supporting energy transfer partners if you don't know where they are look at some of the banks I know Wells Fargo I know US Bank I don't have time to pull that up right now right now you <laughs> I can't even believe what I'm watching right now with this water cannon they are using this continually against these people that is a water cannon you see what you hear being fired is more tear gas or rubber bullets I don't know which I can't I can't see tear gas going up so I'm not sure what you hear being fired I believe that's rubber bullets yeah I think what you hear being fired right now is rubber bullets because when the tear gas is fired, you see the stream in the sky. I'm not seeing that right now. Again, I want to stress that these are your tax dollars. This is a militarized police force against unarmed, peaceful water protectors. My friend came back earlier from, for taking blankets down, down there. And she got so much tear gas that she inhaled that she puked and she wet herself. Earlier today, we were busy putting up a, a, a teepee um, that's going to be a, a shelter for the women that are coming that don't have a place to go because it's freezing cold here. So we went from doing that to coming out to look at this. These are unarmed people. These people that are, that are sharing kitchens in camp and preparing food together. These aren't militarized people. These are. This could be your son or your daughter, your mum or your dad, your grandfather or your granddad or your, gran or your grandma. And this is what they're being met with. Sorry guys, I'm, str I'm struggling with this right now because that's like 
There's people I know down there being treated like this, and it's 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 beyond it's beyond insane. This is protecting. This isn't protecting life. This is protecting big oil and power. There's no life at threat down there. Well, there's only lives at threat on this side with the water cannon. They're going to catch hypothermia or with a rubber bullet they catch in the face or the tear gas they inhale so much they can't breathe. That's the threat to life. Militarized police force against peaceful protectors. This is 2016 in America. This is insane. So yeah, please, Kelly Love, thank you. Send prayers, send protection for these people. If you can't be here, share this. There's no one attacking law enforcement. That's just a story that Morton County are putting out to try and cover themselves on this. People were removing, originally, we were removing the burnt out trucks that were on the bridge that had been burnt out before. I don't know who AP is, but if you want to find me on the hill, if you come up to where the flag is on 1806, on the, where the, above the rope, above the bridge, if anyone's looking to find me and wants to talk to me while I'm doing this, you can find me on this hill and slightly down the hill. Um, you'll see below me there's a small fire where people are warming up. And at the top of the hill there's a bunch of people. You'll find me, I'm, I'm about five fence posts down from the top of the hill. I, I can't answer messages. Yeah, Associated Press, feel free to come and find me. Feel free to come and find me, Associated Press. If you're watching this, you want to come and find me. I'm going to, I, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to keep standing here and streaming this as, it's, as this is going. I'm not worrying about what's in the comments. If you can just share this, be, be cool in the White House, be cool in the Army Corps of Engineers, be cool in your governor, be pulling your money out the banks that are supporting this and be sharing this because the mainstream media aren't showing this. This is not being shared by the mainstream media. It's not being shown. I'm just an individual on my personal phone streaming. That I... I don't want to see people arguing in the comments. Let's keep this nice. Just send energy, send your peace, send your protection for these people stood here. Because you can't be stood here. So if you're just joining, this is the bridge on 1806. What you're seeing is peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired on by militarized police they have water cannons they have I can't call while I'm live feeding I don't know who's does anyone have enough can someone what number I'm looking at this what number needs to be called Who's got a phone that works right now? Okay, yeah, get that number. I don't know, I'll tell you in a second. Associated Press. What's your, what's your number? Ready, go. 970. All right, one second. 970, yep. 319. 319. 5731. 5731. Thank you for doing that. Someone's, someone's going to call that phone right now. Answer it and give it to me, I guess. Is someone calling? Hello? Hello, who am I speaking with? Hi, hi JR. So, 
Uh, my name's San Antonio, Texas. Is that for you? Hello? JR, where, where are you called from? Is that the same number? I don't even know. Hello, where are you calling from? Okay. Who who is this please? Right. I This is my number, yeah, to call you call yeah, this is the number to call for Associated Press. To call. To speak if they wanted to speak to Okay, yeah, if you can do that, please. Yeah, Kevin. All right, thank you. All right, no, no, no problem, thank you. Can you answer and find out who's calling on, on that? Someone else is gonna call, sorry. I know this is kind of a... Hello? Hello? <laughs> is there a drone about us? Oh, yeah, hold on one moment. Hello, this is Kevin Gilbert speaking. Yes, you can give me a call. Uh, right now, I'm stood on the hill uh, just above 1806, above the blockade on the bridge. And there is a group of peaceful, unarmed water protectors who have been fired upon with a water cannon in, I believe it's about 26 degrees out here right now. There's been multiple rounds of tear gas fired onto the bridge. Now the bridge is in a closed space so left and right you cannot go you can't go forward because of the blockade so firing tear gas into a crowd um, they have two options inhale the tear gas or trample each other trying to escape um, it's 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 hard to tell from up here uh, I'm gonna say a conservative estimate is probably 100 150 plus riot police uh, there's uh, there's maybe around 300 water protectors on the bridge uh, what's being being used to, by the by the riot police and the militarized forces on the other side um, they have big lights up and and they're using a high-pressured water cannon. They have been using rubber bullets. They have been using mace. They have been using concussion grenades and tear gas. They also um, they also uh, tested the LRAD, which is the noise. Uh, I don't know what you call it, the noise cannon. Um, they haven't fired that as of yet, but they did do a test for that, probably half an hour ago, maybe. Um, Uh, they, they just it was just an announcement saying this is a this is the LRAD and this is a this is a test and it just it made a, a short a short noise once I think two times um. I haven't spoke to anyone here with a water cannon I did speak to uh, one of the girls I'm camping with what she did was she was heading to the front lines with blankets for the people that are being hit by the water cannon to try and protect them from hypothermia. And there was so much tear gas when she was up on the bridge, it made her physically vomit and um, wet her pants from coughing. And she was literally taking blankets up to the front for the people that are being sprayed. Uh, the temperature, I believe, is about 26 degrees. It's, it's below... It's, it's, I'm English, so it's below freezing. 32 to us is freezing, so it's below zero Celsius. People back home, what they can do is they can phone the White House, they can phone their governor, they can also phone the Army Corps of Engineers, they can look at who supports energy transfer partners um, with the financial side of things um, and pull their money out of those places because money talks. Um, they can also, when they see these live streams, they can share this because the national media isn't here. The
live streams that are here do tend to be scrambled a lot. My live stream goes in and out right now. So they can share this around on Facebook because right now the media that's reporting it is just individuals. The mainstream media hasn't been here to document this attack against peaceful unarmed water protectors with militarized police. Uh, this is the first one. I borrowed someone's phone. The phone's going like crazy, so I imagine the number's gone and been put out somewhere. Personally, I mean, just share, share this story. Share the fact that these unarmed people are being attacked by militarized police. There's no threat here. There's no, this isn't a case of these people. These are not militia, militia carrying guns. These are peaceful. This could be your son or your daughter, your mother or father, or your granddad or your grand, uh, grandmother. These are just people standing up and saying no more for the destruction of the lands here, for the destruction of the environment. And they have been met by militarized police with water cannons, as I said, tear gas, concussion grenades, rubber bullets, um, mace. They, they, uh, the whole time that I've been talking to you, they are using the water cannon continually on a small group of people. It's continually going. I mean, just holding this phone in my hand, my, my hand is very cold right now because I have a bare hand. I can only imagine what it feels like to be hit by a high-pressure water cannon in below t zero temperatures. Uh, I've maybe been at camp. I'm coming up on two weeks, maybe. Um... And I, th I live streaming on this, maybe i uh, been up on this hill, I'm guessing two hours now, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really check a watch. I just heard it was happening and came up here to try and... To try and... Uh... Okay. Um, yeah, you probably... You, you, uh, they can't hear your voice, they can hear mine. You're not on speakerphone. No, but you, by all means, you can go to my Facebook. You can take any of the live stream or do anything you wish to with that. Which which uh, news which news uh, station are you from? CNBC. Okay, yeah. By all means, uh, feel free to uh, use anything that you find. If you need written permission or anything like that, can I give you verbal permission now? Is that okay? Okay, perfect. And then um, thank. Thank, thank you so much. Um, also, the other thing that you may want to mention is there have been planes flying with uh, without lights continually at night. Um, if there was any way to get the Environmental Protection Agency down to test what the what the trails from these uh, planes are at night, that would be really useful because there has been um, suggestion that it could be chemicals. I do have no knowledge of that, but I do know the EPA would be able to work that out, yes or no. Yeah, the protectors are unarmed. They're not protesters, they're protectors. If you refer to them in, your, in, in, in a report, if you refer to them as water protectors, because that's what they're here to do. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a difference, protesting is... It, it, they, they are unarmed people, yes. No, that's everything. Thank you very much. The phone's going crazy, so I'm guessing someone else is trying to call from someone else. Thank you very much. You take care. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Can you close that off and answer the next one? How do we address? How do we direct them to you Hello? in the future? I have no idea. Um, I can give no. Yeah, you want to give us your address? The EPH. Here, one moment. <laughs> Hello, this is Kev Gilbert speaking. Hey, Brad. Um, so very briefly, uh, what was what happens here at night? Is there a Unmarked um, planes with lights uh, that they don't have their lights on that fly constantly over camp. And there's been talk about whether they are using um, any kind of chemicals against the um, in the chemtrails from the planes. So, yeah, yeah, you do. At, at night, it's continual. And they're planes that 
People have tried to work out what the numbers are and the numbers change and the lights are turned off on the planes a lot of the time. So um, we what wanted to do is have someone down here to be able to maybe test and find out what is being sprayed, if anything. Cause it, right now, I don't uh, how many planes in the sky. Usually at least someone's saying about five right now. Um, you're going to get down here tomorrow? Hello? Hello? You're nearly dead on battery as well. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean your phone to blow up. Do you have a... Do you have a... Um, I've got a charger in my pocket, actually. Do you have a cord? I think this might be a jewel, let's see. Oh shit, is this so long? I don't know if this has got a charge. Oh, so a bitch. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm on the phone with this Associated Press calling right now. Um, and also the EPA. Do, do you want me to go to try to find another... Like, a portable charger, yeah, if you can find another portable charger. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's going to plug into... Dead. I think it's dead. Try this. Hey guys, I'm still with you. Sorry, I was just talking with um, CNBC and also the uh, EPA are coming down here tomorrow to check on what's happening with the planes. Try this. Oh, man. So if you're just joining right now, what you're watching is on 1806. You're seeing a water cannon being continually used on peaceful unarmed protectors. Press the little button on the side. Should light yes, up. On the side, there you go. It is crazy, yes sir. Appreciate it, thank you so much. Appreciate it, thank you so much. You can call the National Guard, yes, you can call the Army Corps of Engineers. I don't know where that number went, someone must have posted that, I apologise. No um, that, what's the, what you're seeing is mostly the water cannon. You're also seeing, um, that's the water cannon continually being used. I know they're jamming the feeds. That's crazy. If it rings again, yeah, feel free. Have you got voicemails? I'm just reading. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't even know how that numbers. Who? Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I'm still with you guys. I was on the phone with CNBC and uh, also the EPA are coming out here. They'll be out here tomorrow. If anybody calls, I will give you the phone. Yeah, cool. Did you see the last? Uh, maybe try calling back that guy from the EPA. Did he... the, it was the very last number that called. Maybe I. Well, actually, I don't know. There's a van right there that'll charge anything you can see charge. She said you can come down and plug it into the car. Do you want to keep feeding? Do you want us to go plug this in? Do you, yeah, do you want to plug that phone in? So, and then if there's anything, do you want to plug, back up, come yeah. back up? Yeah. yeah. This. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't give it back right now. Literally, this is being watched all over the world. C yeah, CNBC. Where are you staying? We're staying at the Ochenese. Yeah, me too. Literally just had the EP Environmental Protection Agency call his phone and CNBC. No, no, I've got mine that's dead. So we're gonna go plug his phone yeah. in, and then is Can they? Else? Yeah, if you can charge that, I don't know if there's any way of working out how to charge that in the van. Okay, let's go see. Come on, let's yeah, it's your cord. Cool. We'll go to work on charging. I'll be here. So guys that are just joining this right now, what you're watching is the water cannon being used against the peaceful um, the peaceful water protectors. They've also been using tear gas, they've also 
They've been using rubber bullets. I have reports of people hit with rubber bullets. You see that is continually being continually being used right now. As water cannon being used at 26 degrees. Yeah, this is about money. They're not protecting life, they're protecting money. And they're risking life by protecting me right now. This is on 1806 on the blockade of the bridge earlier where they were firing the tear grass. Is the... I'm not sure of anything, I just answered the phone and spoke to whoever was there. They're continually taking people. If you look down here, there's people on the sides of the roads here that are continually being taken back to camp who have been being hit by the water cannon, being hit by the tear gas. They're being taken back for medical care. So this road you see here, these cars are going backwards and forwards to camp to make sure these people are protected. Still got two on it. Hopefully, I'm going to come up with another solution. I don't have another one right now. Um, if you can find another solution, I didn't say, just to clear up, I did not say that chemicals were being used. What I said was there was a question whether they were or not and the EPA would be the people to give the answer to that. There's certainly chemtrails in the sky over camp consistently. I'm afraid I can't get any closer. I'm just up here filming and sharing this with you. Whether, there was, whether those chemtrails were what they were, they are unlit, the planes without lights and the EPA are allegedly coming here tomorrow and they are going to find that out. But this is militarized police being used against peaceful unarmed protectors. As you can see in the distance, there are more and more cars coming down on the other side. There's battalions of police down there against peaceful unarmed protectors. So everyone that's sharing this, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being with this and sharing it and getting the story up. Remember down so I can like locate you later or something. The best way, best way to locate me at camp. Um, you just want to get this back? Whenever I just need it back, yeah. I, cool. Yeah, because mine's dead, so I won't be. Go up to go, go up the media hill. I will leave it in the media tent for you. Okay. Because that's easy to find. Media tent. No, a media tent is on the top is of Facebook it? Hill where everyone charges their phones. No, but I will locate. Like okay. Um, and then if you just say that, just when you get up, there, you need a media pass. So don't say you're looking for a media pass. Just let them know that I will leave it. What's your name? Adrian Phillips. Adrian, thank you. Sorry to hold this, your thing hostage. Pat for side that you're just joining, please share this. Please share this. Everyone that's joining keeps continuing to share this. You can go to my earlier feed as well, which shows when the tear gas was being fired continually. My earlier feed, um, you will see on my Facebook. If anyone can pull it down and put it onto a YouTube video, please do that. If you look in the comments, you will find numbers here for calling the Army Corps of Engineers. You will find numbers for the White House for your local call your local governor look at energy transfer partners who are applying the money to them to keep this going pull your money out of those places bank of america wells fargo, wells fargo. HSBC. hsbc and there's a whole list of 16 city but banks. city banks another one those are two planes flying in the sky right now they're the ones 
ones with lights right now at night, they have some kind of a camp without lights. If I drop out for a second, I'm checking a message. Here's my name and number, just in case. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eighteen Highway 1806, just north of camp. The local Red Cross number, so 6700. Same. 